My brothers and sisters in Islam, Allah Azza wa Jal blessed us with this month that is known as Shahrullah al Muharram, the month of Allah al Muharram, the first month of the Islamic year. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he referred to this month as Shahrullah, the month of Allah. And this is the only month that Allah Azza wa Jal ascribed to Himself. You know what it means when we say Shahrullah? The month of Allah, yani for example, when we say Kitab Allah, meaning this book, the Quran is one thing, and all the other books is something else. When we say Nabi Allah, meaning the prophets of Allah, these human beings are one thing, and all the other human beings are all something else. When we say Bayt Allah, meaning the Masajid are one thing, and all the houses that exist are totally another thing. Now when we say Shahr Allah, meaning this month is one thing, and all the other months of the year are totally different, something else altogether. Allah Azza wa Jal did not say about Ramadan, Shahrullah. When Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did not describe Dhul Hijjah as Shahrullah that we just finished a month ago, it wasn't described in the manner that Shahrullah Al Muharram was described. The only month that was called Shahrullah was Muharram. With ulama, Rahimahumullah, they say because of the great virtue it carries, this is the beginning of the year. And if the beginning is right, the rest of the year becomes right for someone. This month is called Muharram because of its holiness and because of its sacredness. When ulama, rahimahumullah, they mentioned that fasting in the sacred months generally is mustahab. And regarding the month of Muharram, and Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said something specific. He said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Afdalu siyami ba'da Ramadan, shahrullahi al-Muharram. That the best month to fast after Ramadan this is better than Sha'ban. Sha'ban is the month in which our records of the year are raised to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sha'ban is the month in which Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to fast except a little bit of days. Now imagine that fasting Muharram is much better and more rewarding than fasting Sha'ban. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the only two months in which he used to put full effort to, to fast him was Ramadan or Shahrullah al-Muharram and more specifically in Shahrullah al-Muharram was the day of Ashura. My brothers and sisters in Islam, why is the first month of the Islamic year a month of fasting? The first month is a month of fasting because the one who begins with a powerful start, his ending will also be powerful. At the Suf, Islam began powerful as well. Islam began with the month of Ramadan. Islam began when the Quran came down during Ramadan. Powerful start to Al Islam. Allah Azza wa Jal gives us another chance and He gives us a month. And if you start this month correct and you make the most of it from the very beginning, the one who has an incredible, absolute, awesome, perfect start, bi'ithnillahi ta'ala, Allah Azza wa Jal blesses the rest of the year for him and he'll find the power to continue in his relationship with Allah Azza wa Jal during that year. My brothers and sisters in Islam, when you begin this year with this noble deed of fasting, the worship that keeps you away from all pleasures and the worship that keeps you away from all temptations, enjoyments of life, you begin with a powerful start. And in the same hadith that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, that same hadith in where he said that the best fasting after Ramadan is Shahrullah al-Muharram, in the same hadith he said, وَأَفْضَلُ الصَّلَاةِ بَعْدَ الْمَكْتُوبَةِ الصَّلَاةُ فِي جَوْفِ اللَّيْلِ And the best prayer after the obligatory prayer is the prayer in the middle of the night, more specifically in the last third of the night. Why did the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, why did he put these two things in the hadith? He said to us in the same hadith that the best fasting after Ramadan is fasting Muharram. And in the same hadith, he said that the best prayer after the obligatory prayer is the last third of the night. As though this is an indication from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to start the year with fasting and with salatul layl, the last third of the night. What a fabulous start to the year. The one who begins the year like this, with fasting the days and praying the nights, bi'ithnillahi ta'ala, Allah Azza wa Jal blesses the rest of the year for him. Yani as though the hadith is giving us the prescription for a blessed year. The prescription, and that prescription that you take from the, from, the, from the pharmacist, from the doctor, the prescription for a blessed year is from the beginning of the year. You fast its days as much as you can. 
and you pray the nights as much as you can. Bi'ithnillahi ta'ala, you find this kind of blessed ye before you.